headed out uh, on that bike, uh, headed out to the bus stop or walking into work this morning or school. Uh, temperatures again a little bit chilly at the start of the day, 40 degrees. Eventually we'll get back into the upper 50s and low 60s. A uh, little bit of patchy fog out there this morning, so do make sure that you're staying on the sidewalks and sunny skies on the trip back home. So perfect day to uh, hop on that bike or walk into school this morning. 44 degrees again as those temperatures uh, continue to climb this morning. 45 in Roseburg. Head out to the coast. Same story for you. Low to mid 40s there. A little bit cooler as you head over to Central Oregon. Mid 30s for you. Also seeing mid to upper 30s as you head over to the eastern side of the state. That storm that moved through yesterday is all the way down in Nevada this morning. So a little bit of patchy fog. Some low clouds over in Central Oregon. That's about it. As soon as we burn through this fog this morning, we will get back to those sunny skies. Dew point is at 42 with the temperature right now at 44. Winds are pretty breezy though this morning and that's helping to keep that fog mixed and stirred up a bit. Winds are from the north right now at 14 miles per hour. Visibility being affected just a touch at this hour down to about nine miles. Typically it's at about 10 miles. So again that air of low pressure now moving on to the east replacing it is high pressure. That's going to move in off from the Pacific. That ridge is going to dry us out for the next couple days. It's going to bring back the sunny skies. Uh, again that is for today. It's actually for most of tomorrow, most of the week as well. But uh, there is a cold front developing here in the Gulf of Alaska. That's going to push through Western Oregon Thursday night. Here's the thing though, right now, as you look at the satellite picture, it looks pretty impressive. Quite a, a decent cloud the deck there. But by the time it gets here, it's going to be pretty weak. Uh, we'll see a few extra clouds. May see a few isolated, very light showers late Thursday. Uh, and then that's all we're going to get from that. And we'll be right back to dry weather on Friday. You can see, actually see how this all Times out here on Precision Cast this morning. Still seeing that fog developing right here in the southern Willamette Valley and up and down the I-5 corridor. As we head into this afternoon, it's completely clear skies for the entire state. Thursday, we'll start to see some high cirrus clouds drifting in ahead of that front. Uh, late Thursday, you can see here at about 9 o'clock, we do start to see some clouds pushing into western Oregon. Again, a few isolated, very light showers late Thursday, and that's it. And it's right back to these dry, mostly sunny conditions for Friday. So along the coast today, low 60s, mostly sunny. Winds out of the north a little bit breezy for you today up to about 20 miles per hour again those clouds increasing thursday may get a few sprinkles late in the day dry friday we have another opportunity saturday afternoon evening for a few uh, rounds of sprinkles again again not uh, all that impressive then either and it's right back to dry even warmer conditions as we head into early next week the umqua basin low 60s for you brief patchy fog this morning otherwise sunny as we head into this afternoon you also see those sunny dry conditions on thursday back up to 65 and then early next week those temperatures continue to climb back into the upper 60s for the cascades we did see some snow up there yesterday some icy roadways this morning but by this afternoon it's back to the mid 40s snow level already at 5,000 feet centurion low to mid 50s for you under mostly sunny skies still below freezing the next couple of nights just barely though otherwise dry and mostly sunny all the way through early next week and for the valley it's low 60s today a brief patchy morning fog afternoon sunshine back down into the upper 30s again tonight Thursday mostly sunny mostly dry a few high clouds could see a little bit drizzle late in the day otherwise continuing to stay pretty quiet through the weekend through early next week and those temperatures do get back into the mid 60s nice.